For about a decade now, United Way donors have shown their local love for building strong communities. Together we have built and invested in a neighborhood engagement strategy where the goal is that everyone can get involved in their community to make it safer and stronger. Some neighborhoods have needed a little more help than others and what we've learned is that when you include local residents in building solutions to community problems, they're much more invested in helping to create the change that they want to see. And that's why the neighborhood engagement strategy has succeeded. But why do we need a strategy like this in the first place? When certain neighborhoods lack the economic opportunities that others enjoy, you begin to see a sort of social erosion that matches the physical erosion of that neighborhood. To paint you a picture, if more affluent neighbors flee to the suburbs, as they have in Windsor, Essex, those left behind in some neighborhoods will see the value of their properties decline. Then you see businesses and schools leave those neighborhoods, further eroding the social fabric of the neighborhood and decreasing the number of good jobs for residents. You might see a degradation of public spaces, abandoned buildings, and blight start to creep in. With that can come increased crime. And those who remain in the neighborhood may be stigmatized by these circumstances beyond their control. They may not have the skills or knowledge to advocate for support from their municipality and become discouraged and disengaged from their community and their neighbors. 10 years ago, United Way saw an opportunity to change the trajectory of some of these neighborhoods. In 2010, we funded a neighborhood engagement strategy that has expanded to four different areas of the city. Our mission? to see residents re-engaged in making their neighborhoods places of pride and speaking up for the changes they want to see. To do that, United Way funded the work of neighborhood engagement coordinators in Ford City, Glengarry Marantet, West Windsor, and downtown Windsor. These coordinators asked residents what the issues were they wanted to fix, and together came up with community-driven solutions on how best to fix the problems, guiding and educating them along the way. And those resident recommendations are as unique as the neighborhoods they come from. We wanted to see um, retail come back to the, the community. We wanted to see prostitution turned down. We wanted to see the drug issues taken care of. We wanted more of a police presence. And the, I guess the biggest thing was we felt like we were forgotten by the rest of the city. I think the top three things that residents in our neighborhood uh, really wanted to prioritize were safety, uh, beautification, so really cleaning up uh, the space, the alleyways, the parks. Celebrating our community and history of the West End, keeping our parks and giving them a platform to speak on their own behalf to get things done in their neighborhood. Feeling unsafe in alleyways, whether it was having a vacant building beside them that was uh, derelict falling apart, um, whether it was illegal dumping in their neighborhood. The population in the neighborhood changed a little bit and those, those great traditional events weren't happening anymore. People wanted to see residents coming back out to things like the fireworks event in the park. There was definitely a sense that it was a very large challenge, um, but right away I think connecting with people in the neighborhood, um, the energy and the willingness to work with us was um, so great that I got a sense immediately that we would be okay, that we could really do this. Our partners also took the time to educate residents on how best to advocate for change, from attending city council on specific issues, to creating resident action committees, primers on elections and voting, to joining their voices together to promote change around a common vision that would benefit all four neighborhoods. Program coordinators also help residents who may not have the skills or finances to revitalize their neighborhood. With a little elbow grease and volunteer spirit, there are home improvement workshops, assistance applying for home improvement grants, community cleanups and safety audits, and community events that have started to help residents see what's unique and worth preserving in their neighborhoods. Essentially, the strategy is helping to connect residents to each other and act as a catalyst to empower them to build thriving, engaged neighborhoods. Residents are creating a common vision of revitalization while honoring the diversity and history of each area. What are some of the strategy's successes? How about new alley and porch lighting for safety? And a new United Way report with recommendations for alley revitalization based on resident questions action taken to clean up blight and replace it with art. 
We all painted over all the graffiti in and around Micmac Park. Throughout University Avenue, we've um, painted over a lot of graffiti in that corridor. I feel um, other people see the positives and that makes me feel happy. I think more people, even the neighbors are saying, wow, what a little bit of change made such a major impact in our area. Get to know your neighbor's social events that create those intangible networks that can get neighbors talking to each other and building neighborhood pride. Coordinated efforts to implement safety measures with Windsor Police and even a reduction in crime in priority areas small business grants, and a new spirit of cooperation between local businesses, residents, politicians, and city administration to solve problems and secure investments that benefit challenged neighborhoods. Citizen advocacy is working too. Recent municipal investments include a lighting and security alleyway fund and three new staff for vacant building enforcement, including harsher penalties and fines for owners who neglect vacant buildings. We learned a lot about how to be a good um, delegate at City Council. We've been invited to City Hall to speak with City Planning, um, and to speak with the um, Transportation Committee, you know. Um, we have learned so much. We have so many connections now. A lot of the dilapidated properties, we've been able to have um, different buildings taken down that were not salvageable and having other people investing in buildings that were salvageable. So it's actually bringing the image of the community up quite a bit. Funding for an outreach worker for substance use issues. A new community safety partnership where Windsor police officers have a permanent liaison role to neighborhood engagement groups. They attend community events and meetings and can notify departments in real time about stuff happening on the ground. There's also data sharing with Windsor police on crime statistics at a neighborhood level. Increased path way to potential funding for various affordability programs like city bus passes, more support for park staff to maintain municipal vacant land, and a bulk item pickup program was put in place, and more recently the city approved a reduction in the cost for the service. We're all pushing for the same end goal and everyone's on the same page and I think that's the most important thing. The strategy's success is getting noticed outside of these priority areas. Investors are now returning to Ford City with restaurants and artisan shops and more. And the city recently sanctioned several community improvement plans to help spur further development. TVO featured the downtown Windsor Collaborative in a story about revitalization in Windsor and Detroit, showing residents rolling up their sleeves to create the change they want to see. And the Tamarack Institute, a national poverty reduction and community change organization, featured the four United Way funded neighborhood strategies in a case study report on citizen advocacy. In addition to the neighborhood engagement strategy, United Way backbones the local Windsor-Essex Community Benefits Coalition, which was able to put forward recommendations to those building the Gordie Howe International Bridge about how to mitigate and enhance the impact that project will have on West Windsor. All of this hard work and advocacy has amounted to new possibilities and even some new economic opportunities for residents and other stakeholders within and beyond the boundaries of their neighborhoods. We go all over town all the time and we've seen changes in neighbors that I believe the United Way has uh, had their hand in helping and it's definitely appreciated with us. United Way investments in these neighborhoods has really unlocked potential and have created measurable change. But this change has only been realized because of the partnership with our donors, our funded partners, and our residents. By lifting up these neighborhoods, we have in fact lifted up the whole community.